Hey everybody, welcome to the workshop. Today we're going to do a real simple video. We're going to change a fuse in a power amp. This is a late 80s PV power amp, 150 watts, kind of an old school thing. Um, so I'm going to show you how to change the fuse in there and make sure you get the right one in there. Real simple, quick little video. So what you're going to want to do Turn the amp around, it's always, almost always going to be on the back. Could be a rack mount amp, could be a top box. This is kind of a top box, a little older one. Um, but if it's a square rack mount, same thing, you can turn around backwards. Um, somewhere in the back, back is going to be a fuse. It'll usually either be a square or a circle type thing. It'll have a little screwdriver slot. This one has one, I'll zoom in on that in a second. The square ones will usually have a little pry spot so you can pry it open, a little tray will slide out, the fuse will be in the tray. This one's got a little circle thing on there. I'll zoom in real quick so you can kind of see that. So if you look right down here, it says fuse, 5 amps. You can see it says 5 amps right on there. That's kind of nice. You don't have to study the fuse to figure it out. It's just a 5 amp fuse. Got a little slots there. Just going to put this in, turn it. Fuse pops out. Just kind of fits into that slot there. We'll put the new fuse in, slide it back in, turn it. It'll be all set. There are different ratings of fuses. This one we know is 5 amps because it says right in the amplifier that it's 5 amps. So if you take a look at the fuse, I don't know if you can see this on the camera or not. It usually has some writing on it. It's a bus fuse. I don't know if you can see it or not. It says bus on there. Probably not on the camera. It's kind of little. Um, ABC. Um, it's, and it's got a 5 there, which stands for 5 amps. Um, sometimes it'll have an A for amp, sometimes it'll have an I for current, but it's got a 5 right there, so it's 5 amps. I don't know if you can see that. On this side it says 250V, which is 250 volts. So you want to get the proper voltage and the proper current. So if you're going to go out and buy a fuse, make sure it's a 5 amp fuse um, that'll handle 250 volts. Um, Another thing you'll find on these fuses is some are slow blow fuses, some are fast blow fuses. A slow blow fuse They'll use them power amps a lot because when you turn them on, especially the old ones, you have to charge the capacitors and it'll pull more current than the fuse is rated for for a very short time. So the fuse is made not to blow real fast. So if you've got a slow blow fuse in there, make sure you replace it with the same type. Um, I recommend just taking the fuse with you to the hardware store, finding one that's got all the same numbers and letters on it. Um, this one is white, you can't see inside of it, so you're going to have to use a tester to see if it's blown. This is a different one that's clear. If you take a real close look at that, you can see there's a little filament in there. When the fuse blows, that'll melt and it'll be broken or the fuse will kind of turn black when it blows. So if you take the fuse out and you see that that's melted in half or it's burned and looking inside, then probably it's bad. This one you can't tell, you're going to have to test it. If you have a multimeter or ohm meter, you can test it with that. I like to use this because it's super straightforward and simple. So it's a battery and a light bulb inside there. If the fuse is good, it'll make contact. The light will come on. If it's not good, you connect to both sides of the fuse. There'll be no contact. The light won't come on. I know this fuse is good because the amplifier still works. Um, so if I put one end of this test light to one side of the fuse, the other end to the other side, the light will come on, which means the fuse is still good. Um, so if your amplifier is not coming on and the fuse is still good, you've got another problem. Um, if you connect this and the light does not come on, then the fuse is bad, you need to replace it. Generally what will happen if your amplifier blows a fuse, if you turn it on and it shuts off right away, after you turn it on, a lot of times that's a blown fuse, it's just blue. Sometimes it'll be a fluke. I would recommend checking the fuse, replace the fuse, um, turn it back on, see what happens. If it blows again and you're using the proper fuse, then you probably got a major problem. I would probably change it one more time just because, but um, if it keeps blowing, then something else is wrong. Um, or if you're playing music and it's turned up really loud and the fuse just blows by chance, the amplifier just shuts off, check the fuse. That's the first thing you're going to want to check if your amplifier stops working. Um, some amplifiers will have a circuit breaker, again, usually on the back. Usually will look similar to the little, the little fuse thing I showed you here on the amplifier. Um, but it's usually like a push button. 
So you would just push the button in on it, it would reset the breaker. Um, amplifiers also have what's called a thermocouple. If that blows, the amplifier shuts off. It tends to blow when the amplifier gets too hot. And it usually will come back on when the amplifier cools off. Sometimes it don't, you have to send it in to get a new thermocouple put in. Um, and there are also internal fuses in the amplifiers. We're not going to get into that today because you've got to take the amplifier apart to find them. Um, maybe we'll make another video on that later on. But that's in a nutshell what you have to do. Um, I tend to have a box full of fuses because I've been playing music for a long time. Always the first thing you want to check um, when something stops working. So I have a whole box of them. <laughs> One note you might want to keep in mind. Um, I got all my fuses in here. I used to have them labeled what they were, especially the fast and slow blowing fuses because sometimes that can be kind of hard to tell. This th They've been in here for 20 years and all the labels have fallen off. So I have to look at all the fuses, little tiny writings on there to see what they are. And I still don't always know if they're fast or slow blowing fuses. Usually the slow blows will be a little bigger. Um, while you're going through it. Um, if you're smart, which I wasn't, you can leave them right in the containers that they come in and it will tell you right on the container what kind of fuse it is. Um, if you don't have a collection, I recommend just taking the fuse with you to the hardware store, getting something that has all the same numbers and writings on it. Um, so you get the proper fuse, put it back in the little sleeve there where it goes. Sleeve goes back in, the screwdriver out, this one will just screw back in there, so it's nice and snug. Usually it's a little spring in there, so you have to push on it to get it to go in. If you've got the little tray, you'll simply take the old fuse out of the tray, put the new one in, slide it in, it'll usually snap into place. Once it's in there secure, the fuse should be replaced. Um, and that's the gist of it. Real simple. First thing you check when your amplifier won't turn on or shuts off um, unexpectedly. If it seems real hot, it's probably a thermal breaker that blew. Um, usually they'll come back on automatically. So hopefully this video was helpful. Hit subscribe at the bottom of your screen down there. Got a lot more stuff on my channel for you to look at. Um, some repair stuff, some funny stuff, some whatever random things. Um, hit subscribe down there. We'll see you next time on the workshop.